Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the button component from Angular Material. Before we begin, make sure to add Angular Material to your project. If you're using Visual Studio Code, open the terminal by pressing the Ctrl and Tilde keys and then execute the ng add command. Select a dean, set up a typography, and enable Angular animations. The Angular Material button component comes with a wide variety of buttons that we can add to our project. We can choose between basic, raised, flat, stroked, icon, fab, or minifab. To begin, add the Material button module to your project. Go to the app module TypeScript file, add the import statement, and add it to the app. Go to the app component HTML page and add a button element. If you want to use the basic type button, add the mat button attribute to the button. This will apply the styles and effects for the basic button. For raise, use mat raise button. For flat, use mat flat button. For stroke, use mat stroke button. To change the default color of the buttons, apply the color attribute and set it to either primary, accent, or worn. This will allow us to set the color of the buttons with the predefined color based on the theme you chose. We can also apply our own styles if we choose to. For the buttons with icons, such as the icon, fab, and minifab buttons, we use the same concept. We start with a button element, and then we apply a certain angular material button attribute. For the icon button, we use mat icon button. Then inside the button element, we put in an icon. In this video, we will be using the Material Design Icon Library for our icons. The library comes with hundreds of high quality icons that we can use for our application. For the full list of icons, visit the Material Design Icon website. To begin using the icons from the library, add the Material Icon module to the project. Go to the app module TypeScript file, add the import, and then add it to the app. Go 
go back to the buttons and add a matte icon element inside the button. Then choose an icon from the Material Design Icon website. Once you have the icon name, go back and place the icon name inside the matte icon element. We'll do the same for the Fab and Mini Fab buttons. For the Fab button, use Matte Fab. And for the Mini Fab, use Matte Mini Fab. Lastly, as best practice for accessibility, we should give our icon buttons a label using the area label or area label by attribute. That's all for buttons. If you have questions, leave a comment in the comment section. If you find this video helpful, please give this video a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. See you in the next video.